Well, good evening to you, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer. Today's beer is right over here. This is one I've never had before, but it's from a brewery I really enjoy. From Scotland, we have Innocent Gun, Crike 2023, oak matured with ripe Scottish cherries, and which, uh, I can't, uh, usually I know, because it's always, it always has a signature of one of the employees, and I've known a lot of the employees that have been on here. I don't think I can tell that one. Oh no, that's Dougal, it's Dougal Gun Sharp. So Innocent Gun it was Dougal and his brother. Never met his brother, only him. Uh, what else do we have on here? We have Alcohol by Volume 5.1. I can't, I can't read it. I don't know if you guys can, but me... Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's just... It... It's just not doing it for me. So this was in the winter. Uh, the 2023 winter box. I bought the box solely because I wanted the glass. Sole reason I bought the box was for the glass. We're hooked up to my battery charger right now because this phone is my really old phone. It was never really meant to be the review phone. Actually, it even kind of sounds hollow compared to the iPhone when I listen to videos that were recorded on it. But I don't want to kill my actual phone every time I do a review night. So until this phone dies, we'll use this one. Then when this one dies, we'll move on to the next phone, because I keep all my old phones. Okay. That looks like a beer that has cherries in it. I mean, I kind of expected the head to be a little more pink. Or red, but it's that weird, like, almost, almost like orangey hues in there. That's that's intriguing. Looks nice. I love the look of the beer itself. A deep, deep amber. Looks great. Nice snap crackle pop to it. Really, really like the visual appeal of this beer. But I don't think there's a lot of Innocent Gun beers I haven't liked the visual appeal of. Scent from the glass. I wish I could tell what it says back here, because that's a weird astringent note. Our Scottish Cherry Crike is made with fresh, juicy cherries. Yeah, it doesn't tell you what type of barrel it was in or for how long, at least not on the bottle. I mean, I guess since I went to the Arctic and I stopped getting their beers, they didn't make it albino friendly anymore. I can't read that shit, Dougal. Does Nick still work for you? Nick, I can't read that shit. Oh, we didn't sniff it out of the... So out of here, you get cherry. It's a beautiful sour cherry. Sour cherry, oak, vanilla.
oak, vanilla, sour cherry, a little bit of astringent like perm chemical, and and like an underlying of rum out of the glass. The glass, now that it's had time to breathe, is nowhere near as astringent smelling. All I smell out of the glass is the oak, the vanilla, and the cherries. But I get that astringency out of there. Cheers, let's try it. Who cares what it smells like? That's fucking excellent. That is. That's excellent. No, it's been a long time. It's been a long time be be since I've been able to get my hands on Innocent Gun. When I was in the Arctic, I couldn't get it. I was there for five years. I've missed out on a lot with this company. Um, to a point that I missed out on starting to get their beer again. When they started to put a lot more love into it again. Uh, it was always a labor of love. But... I think the growth hurt them a bit, and then it took them a little bit of time to get back to, to showing the love in the beer because some of the like the specialties didn't lose anything, but the regular innocent gun it did seem to lose a few steps, and then um, over time, those steps have been taken back, which is which is great. If you're wondering, I'm undoing my belt. That's right, I'm undoing my belt. Oh. I've had these pants on too long. Beautiful cherry. From the front to the back, you're getting cherry. Beautiful, sweet, ripe cherries up at the forefront. Slightly sour, tannic cherries at the back end. It mixes with the drying of the oak, and it mixes with the vanilla and the coconut that come from the oak as well. This tastes amazing. I, oh man, I want more of this, I want more of it, I want more of it, why can't I get more, why is it that any time they make an amazing beer, it isn't something I can get more of, so the vanilla, the caramel sweetness, and the sweet ripe cherries, are all your forefront. Medium bodied beer slides into that tannic, slightly bitter, slightly sour cherry flavor that still has some sweetness to it, but it brings in the coconut, it brings in the vanilla, and it brings in a oak tongue depressor like dryness on the back of the palate, which makes this a very Moorish beer. This is a beer that you need more than this little bottle. This should have been in the original like 710 milliliter bottles. That's this, this should have been in that. This is fucking good. Oh, I don't... I want more. It's not overpowering. It's well balanced. It has a nice little burn. Even at 5% alcohol, it still has a nice little burn in the stomach. This is a beautiful beer. It's getting a 9.75 out of 10. I'm done. I gotta go. Bye.